Oh, 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 honey, baby. It's time for this joke of a run. All right, let me just note, I have no idea what these things mean. Come on, little audio cable. My audio's just dead. There we go. Who's ready? Anyone ready for the famous fourth time's the charm? Do you solve that one? Can you solve that first one? Can you solve that second one? You can't solve any of those. They're un they're they're unsolvables. Here we go. Who's ready? Not now, baby cat. This is not a time for snuggles. I love you, though. Oh, hi, Sheriff. You're so sweet. Hi. Hi. Come here. Is it Snuggles time? Yes. Hi. Oh, I love you. Guys, we gotta do Snuggle time. We got Snuggle time. And snuggles. Hi. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is Sheriff. She <laughs> likes to give me kisses. Hi. Remove this. No, no, they're just headphones. Do you want do you want to play headphones or do you want to snuggle? Yeah, I know where your loyalties lie. Yes. Oh. Mm. No, don't fucking get the fuck back here. Don't go into the box. Come here. Ah, there we go. It's time for snuggles. Snuggles. Okay. Yes, yeah, snuggles time. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Hi. Oh, the tickle, Cheryl. Oh. So I'm seeing in chat that it resets if I pause it. That's okay. Fifth time is the charm. Oh, whoa. Whoa, mods. Whoa. I'm reading those things that are getting deleted. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, kisses. Oh, oh, sure. Oh, yes. Cat Dad loves you. Oh, my God. I don't know if you've ever had a cat. Who's the actual cutest kitty? It's you, Shara. It's you. Mm. Is it tummy time? Yes, it's tummy time. You have no say in the matter. You have no say in the matter. It's tummy time. Tummy time. <laughs> oh, tummy time. Yes, Sheriff. Look around. <gasps> That's the chat. What do you think? No. No. <laughs> hey, who's in the mood for round five? I, I feel rejuvenated from kitty tummy time. Here we go. 498 salt. Boom! Boom, ba! Boom, ba! 
fourth time for real. Slaying it. In the fuck? Fuck. Ah. Ah. That's the fucking hard one right there, man. Explain it. So it's likely up in this top left area. Hmm. Which two sides? So, I mean, this just, it has to be this all the way. Uh, or the other one all the way. Yep, I think that's the only one that could possibly be. Just like this and this and that.
Oh, the music's getting fucking loud now! I hate it. this song sucks. Oh, I went back in time. I'm gonna die. Ugh. assume that I only have these four or only these two pillars but that might actually be all right so I think that that's the end damn I actually just have to turn the fucking music down when it gets there, because it's like, -da 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 -da, and I'm like, and if I rotate the line around this way. Meow. Cat's devastated at Cat Dad's travails. Come on. This is the one that can be done. That one's not possible. So one of these is possible, the others are not. Ugh. I feel like this one should be the possible one, right? Be something like this, no, but then we'd have to. So I'm just gonna claim that this one's not possible.
Be like, this one is not possible as well. I was crushing it, man. I don't know how to do any of these ones, man. I don't know how to do any of these. None of these are fucking possible. been stumped on one of these like this. Okay. We're gonna lose. Alright, I'm just gonna go back to the start. Six times a charm. Jesus, this is a fucking hard one. What? Ah, uh, what? Jesus. the one I need to fucking do. There you go. Jesus.
This is tricky as hell, dude. How do you do this one? Has to be up. I actually don't even know how we account for this bottom one. I think it at like it just has to do this or some shit. Right? Like I actually have no idea. This is how how does this fucking thing work? So I think that it has to do something like this. Like it has to. Uh Yeah, but that's too many turns. Okay, so we can do this. Ugh. <sighs> This is the hard part, for sure. Because it can't actually turn, so this would probably have to be the only way that this works. So this have to be take care of for them. Then that can't actually work. That was an unbelievably tricky one. Damn. That was like one of the most unbelievably difficult one of those things I have ever seen, man. Holy crap. Wait, no, that was a solution. Why was that not a solution? I, I genuinely do not see what went wrong there.
Oh shit. Nearly. I think I saw it over here. Ooh, we are not getting lucky finding this thing. to solve two. Seventh time's the charm. All right. Why didn't you start?
This one? Is it this tricky little shit here? She shouldn't be meowing at the door. <laughs> I don't really know where it is. Alright, I'm gonna head back home. I'll be right back. I gotta discipline the cat. Oh, 
mean, most of that song was just me, like, looking around for it. <laughs> I got really lucky with the first puzzle being, like, that easy. This was a nice starting location, but I'm not really sure where. Where I haven't explored yet. Maybe one of these middle columns? I mean, like... <laughs> like, truly could not find it. And that's all there is to it. Alright. You know what they say. You know, they say that the eighth time is the charm. <clears throat> Alright, let's do it. Let's hope we get lucky. Always lucky.
This is in the exact same spot as that other one. So. There's only one path here. The unfrustratable, no amounts of losses cause me to go on tilt. You see the tilt goes down over time with day nine. Focuses, eighth time's the charm. We needed a little luck and you know what? We always run good. When have we not, honestly? When have we not run as good as we need to, huh? <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. See, if you always expect, or I should say, if you're always about to get frustrated because something might not go your way, well, then you'll never be lucky. But if you just wait for the kick-ass stuff to happen, well, God, you can get lucky as much as you want. that easy. Boy, that doesn't look like a... over Our Lady of the Projector Room. Holy shit, I'm here. Holy shit, I'm right fucking here again. Oh, interesting. My voyage had come to its end, at the last limit of my power. That the path before me was closed, the provisions exhausted, and the time come to take shelter in silent obscurity. But I find that thy will knows no end in me, and when words die out on the tongue, new melodies break forth from the heart. Oh and my God! Yes. New country is revealed with its wonders. So good. Let's just let's just put the puzzle in, shall we? Let's just clear this one out. There it is. This is disinteresting. 
disinteresting. This is interesting. No fucking way. How could I forget? How could I forget? Of course, of course. Of course, of course. Oh my god, the puzzle crushing. No. Kitty would stop meowing at the top of her little lungs. She's gonna get kitty detention. Okay, so this is a loop. This is from whence I came. Wait, I'm fucking lost, dude. Five oh seven. Jesus, there's six hundred of these. Damn. Where are the puzzles, man? Let me get those puzzles. Ah, no, here's where I came from. Here's from whence I came. So I feel that there is still more to explore. I want I want to hunt. Well, there's 523 puzzles plus 135 environmental puzzles. I see. This is just this is just the loop de loop, right? I've gone up here yet, though. Ah, excellent. It's almost challenging, but I think we got it. Is this it? Nearly. Ah. This. Like this, like this, like this. Damn. Damn, 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 shit, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, shit, damn it, oh, come on, man, come on, it's right, 
Oh my god, now we can all. Ugh. Damn, damn, damn. So, you know, alternative is to start up here and then to. Easier. What the fuck in the shit? Who fucking fucked up, huh? Who fucked up? I don't think I fucked anything up. I'm gonna do the exact same thing again. So we got one, we got one, we got two, we got two, we got two, dude. And then see, watch me, sh you know, this has one, that has three, and then we go one, two, one, two, up here, one, two. Is this not what I did? Maybe that was what I didn't do. Okay, maybe that's what I did. Yay! Yay! That fuck knows is still talking, dude. He's still going on. Beautiful day. <sighs> Fourth puzzle in Mountain King is a map of a maze. Interesting. Well, no overwatch today and couldn't have asked for a bigger blast. 508 feeling really great. 508 of 525 puzzles. Feels good. Feels good. One question, eh? Before, before I actually go play Overwatch. That was so fun. What do you think of Unreal Engine 4? I have no idea. Any cool plans for the weekend? Working all weekend, man. Going to the office Saturday, going to the office Sunday. Probably going to be doing that for a few weeks. I want to get this shit out of the way. I'd rather crunch early instead of crunching late. How sick is this game? Oh my god, you're fucking sick! Oh, it was sick. <coughs> <coughs> what keyboard mouse do I use? I use a DOS keyboard. Ultimate S. <clears throat> and a Steel Series Sensei. Oh. I'm sick. What are your thoughts on the witness from a game design point of view? This is why cross. Um, <clears throat> I gotta say, like there is, <clears throat> is that the loudest fart coming from outside? So here is, here's something that I think is really, really, really important to know. This is like an important concept, okay? I'm about to tell you a really important concept in game design. And this is not a concept that you read about in a book. I'm just going to tell you fucking something, okay? This is something really important to keep in mind. And I believe this <laughs> so fucking strongly, man. I'm saying it like this is like something that everyone fucking says. This is just something that I'm going to fucking say, okay? Here's something that I believe to be true. Um, and I think that there is 
Jesus, I am so tired. I'm doing the most terrible job answering this question. Okay. There, I cannot think with this fucking fart noise going on outside. I cannot think because I'm tired. Is Bill okay? Bill's in India, so he's he's in good shape. So here we go. Let me tell you. Here here's some. This is, is, is an interesting thought. This is an interesting insight. I will claim. I will argue. In many games, it is very clear what the parameters are. I'm going to use Halo as an example. When you're playing the Halo single player, you have some guns, and there are some monsters. And you know that you have to use guns on monsters in order to make progress. Those are the parameters. If you are playing Mario, you recognize that the parameters are to jump on the dude's head or to jump from platform to platform. You solve a lot of problems in Mario by jumping. These are the parameters. Oh, it looks like the motorcycle's driving away. And I will now use a more puzzle-esque example Talos Principle does an extremely solid job of establishing clearly what the parameters of solving the puzzle are. There is a purple door, and when you step past it, there is a tiny terrain zone. And in that little zone, there is one puzzle piece that is clearly visible, and there are a variety of objects and obstacles. And it is very explicitly clear that you use those puzzle pieces, those objects, to, or excuse me, you use the objects to overcome the obstacles to get that little puzzle piece at the end. Like that's very, very, very clear. Now when the parameters are very clear, you can expand the difficulty and the complexity while still working within the parameters. In Halo, you can make that boss harder. In Mario, you can make the platforms moving and doing other things. And um, Talos Principle, you just make more interesting varieties of objects and obstacles in those ways, right? Many people like this. And this is great. There's nothing... I'm making no value judgment. I'm simply just stating a concept right now. And it's also important to note that in everything I've just said, there's so much fun to be had within that realm. However, and here is my big claim, here is my really big claim, it is when the parameters are a little unclear that mystery and wonder and amazement can happen. That's when something interesting and wondrous and amazing can happen. Very simple example from Mario, when you are standing on one of the pipes and you hit down and boom, you're suddenly teleported to somewhere new. <gasps> because the parameters say, the basic structure of the game says, if you're standing on things, they are solid objects that you stand on, that you can clearly see, but ooh, you have to actually go through that one, wow. <gasps> That's when you get that wow, amazement, wonder moment. When you jump in the air and boom, an invisible block appears, giving you a one up. Again, the parameters of the game say, if you see nothing there, then nothing's there. A, a light breakdown of the parameters gives you, whoa, amazement, wonder. In Talos Principle, sometimes there are meta puzzles where you use objects from this zone to work with objects from z that zone. And this is how you unlock stars. You have broken the parameters that things behind purple doors and self-contained zones work and operate with on their own realm. In Dark Souls, when suddenly there is a, a simple, flat little area with a hidden bush and you kind of walk around there and there's a door and you go down and it opens up into an entire zone. That's not the way environmental design is supposed to work in typical parameters. There's clear entrances and exits in almost the entire gaming medium and then Dark Souls has these very odd interconnected things that break those parameters to give you that sense of wonder. I will claim that if you do a good job establishing parameters, when you break them and do twists upon them, that's what gives you this feeling of awe 
and wonder and amazement and ooh, and a lot of those really amazing ooh moments happen. And <clears throat> I think that what makes The Witness particularly fantastic as a game is that it almost says the the exa or like the the basic gameplay is trying to figure out the parameters and then solving puzzles under those parameters right isn't that interesting that it makes it very core to show you symbols and lines on them and you you know you know the basic parameters you, you need to connect the dot but Fuck, what, what are the rules in this? What, how is it supposed to work? And that's what I, I think that The Witness balances magnificently. It is not, it is not overly parametrized. Many of the old school adventure games, there was no fucking rules. Just random shit was just fucking happening all over the place where you use this item there and this item and talk to that person and you punch the cat and another cat came out of it and that cat would help you could use to barter for a shoe for the guy who was cold who would then give you a silver coin that you needed to trade for the magic mirror that's how old school adventure games work they were stupid but you had a lot of these really huge wonderful moments oh amazingness and I talked about this when I first started streaming The Witness, that I know um, that Jonathan Blow and his team were trying to say, let's narrow this down to something very clear that can be repeated. Okay, panels. Okay, panels are the, our core verb. That's the core thing that the player works inside of. Boy, are we going to lose a lot of feeling of wonder and amazement if it's very clear what... Uh, the rules are you're just going to, it's going to be like opening a puzzle book and just being told the rules and trying to work within the rules you're going to lose a lot of amazement and a lot of wonder and I think that um, it is just fantastically balanced where I would wander up and I would see a door and I would see a puzzle on it you remember very early when I got to the central town that is sort of the use everything that you learn to solve this town that um, That the, just seeing a door, seeing a panel, and there's a there's a little promise, and the game says, "You can get past this door. You have everything you need." But I don't quite know. I don't quite know what the rules are. So it gives this mysterious awe and this wonder, and oh, how am I going? And then when I start to get it, it's like, okay, cool. And that door that I've just been curious about, that I've just been wondering, that I'm unsure about suddenly it's opened up and and that's just that's just a really magical moment pretty much every time um, and um, I think that there is a great risk that was taken by doing this where there are some people that simply want to be handed a problem and then to just crack it right there are some people that just want to be given level one of Mario and they just want to beat it, and then they want to get to level two, and they want to beat that, and they want to get to level three, and they want to beat that. And for them, the joy is just beating the thing that was handed to them. And I know for many people, the witness, uh, or when they play the witness, it's just like, damn it, I don't fucking know what you want me to do in this game. But I think that's okay. I think that um, very often in game design, you are not trying to make the perfect game. Because if you go down this branch, it'll be a good game, and if you go down this branch, it'll be a good game. They'll just be different. Both of them will interest some people with the exact same thing that will frustrate other people. So I think that this especially could potentially frustrate many, 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 many people by having too much ambiguity and too much lack of clarity. But I, I frankly think that um, it would be hard for me to imagine a better... A, 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 a better implementation here. I think it was truly awesome. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is one of my favorite games. I just love it. I just love it. It's just wonderful. Um, it's fantastic. Um, thank you, thank you to Thecla and Mr. Below. <laughs> I hope you are enjoying your cognac and sitting by the fire.
Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Yeah, I like that little game design lecture on the spot. That was good. Just pulling all that shit together. Things I think.